Understanding how to analyze and read a request waterfall can be key to improving site speed. So what is a request waterfall? A request waterfall shows us which network requests are made when opening a website and helps us better understand how and when the browser downloads these resources. Based on this information, we can make optimizations to our page to prioritize and speed up requests, ultimately improving our site speed and core web vitals. Request waterfalls are typically in chronological order, so you can expect to see the HTML document at the top. Each row in the request waterfall will show key data such as type, priority status, and size. To the right side, you can see a visualization of the request duration and timings. If you want to see the request waterfall for your website, you can do so in Chrome DevTools as well as other browsers. The request waterfall we just analyzed and the rest in this video are from the Debug Bear website speed test. Let's look at some more request waterfalls to learn more. If we take a look at the film strip, we can see when the first Contentful Paint appears at around one second. But what determines the FCP appearing at this time? Looking at the request can help us break down why. The first request is the HTML document. The waterfall visualization shows a variety of colors, starting with turquoise, and each color represents the component of the new connection. If we hover over the request, a breakdown of the connection is presented to view the components, detailing when the request starts and finishes. Once the HTML request is completed, we would expect the page to begin rendering soon after. In this example, this is not the case. If we look further down, we can see a render blocking CSS request, so the browser creates a new connection because this is a new origin. You can select which waterfall columns you'd like to see in the top right. If we show the connection ID column, we can confirm that it is a different connection. Then we can see exactly when the first Contentful Paint appears because of the vertical blue line in the request waterfall, which lines up with what we see in the film strip above. The FCP milestone can only occur once the document has loaded, and any CPU processing has finished. The CPU processing is represented by the yellow bar. Looking at a request waterfall can help us optimize the largest contentful paint metric. We can also use the film strip to see when the LCP element appears. If we hover over the film strip, we can see it appears at around 3.4 seconds. Ideally, we want the element to appear before 2.5 seconds to achieve a good LCP score as considered by Google. Let's take a look at the request to see what's causing it to take so long. The red vertical line that appears in the waterfall marks when the LCP element is displayed. This milestone will only appear after the LCP request has been loaded. We can easily find this request in Debug Bear with the LCP badge. Once the request has been completed, the red vertical line appears straight after. With the request status being high, we would expect the LCP element to be loaded sooner and appear higher in the request waterfall. However, there was a priority change. Once the browser recognized this as the LCP element, the priority changed from low to high. We can see this occurred at 1.9 seconds by viewing the breakdown. The red bar in the visualization shows at which point in the download that this happened. Clicking into the request also shares more details, including the priority status change that we just mentioned. This gives us a great opportunity to make an optimization. Preloading the LCP image with a fetch priority higher tribute will hint to the browser to set the priority status to high straight away and load the image much sooner, eliminating the unnecessary wait time. In Debug Bear, we can test out optimizations instantly by using the experiments feature. In this case, the suggestion is already there for us. All we need to do is click the add button and the preload HTML will be automatically added to the head of the page. Once the experiment is finished, we can see a completely new request waterfall. The LCP image request has moved up the request waterfall and the priority status is high. This has removed the wait time. The delay between the request finishing and the red vertical LCP line is CSS purposely hiding content. This is due to A-B testing. If this website stops A-B testing, the LCP score would be improved even further. By adding the fetch priority higher tribute, LCP has improved by 1.27 seconds. 
Let's take a look at an example which has a more complex request initiator. With Debug Bear, we can look at an isolated request waterfall, which looks at the LCP image discovery. A discovery is needed when a script will create the LCP content. There are a lot of requests in this request waterfall, so just looking at the LCP image discovery request is much clearer for making optimizations. Looking at the LCP image discovery request waterfall, we can see three requests. Firstly, we have the HTML document as expected. Next is the LCP initiator, which is a CSS request. The final row is the LCP image request. Each of these requests need to be completed before the next one starts. This means the LCP image is only discovered when the script creates the relevant content element. Earlier in the video, we used a preload to optimize the LCP image request. Preloading can help to download the LCP resource earlier on, but a limitation is that the browser will only display the image after its request initiator chain is downloaded. This is because even though the image is preloaded, the resources in the LCP initiator chain means that the content won't be able to be rendered till after the CSS request is complete. Even after preloading the image, the rendering of that image still depends on both the CSS and the image having been downloaded. With Debug Bear, we can also compare request waterfalls to catch regressions. Comparing request waterfalls is useful to quickly see if any requests have been removed or added. For this website, we can see a slight LCP regression in the past month. When clicking compare, we can see that the LCP image has not changed. However, the LCP request time has increased by around half a second. If we scroll down to the request waterfall comparison, we can see why. Here we can see a new Google Tag Manager request. Any new request row will be read. More notably, this new request is render blocking so it has added a delay to the LCP request time. If we hover over the new request, we can view a breakdown of the timings which makes sense when compared to the increased LCP request time. The LCP request time increased by around 400 milliseconds, which is the total duration of this new blocking request. It's also interesting to note that there is another Google Tag Manager request, but since this script is non-blocking and loaded asynchronously, it has minimal impact on the LCP request time. New requests over time are normal, as all websites evolve and change over time. Request waterfall comparisons help us understand if they cause performance regressions and how. You can check out some more request waterfall examples of various websites in the Debug Bear demo. To view a request waterfall for your website, try out the free Debug Bear speed test or sign up for a 14-day free trial.